Welcome back. Now in this session onward we will discuss about different types of behavioral patterns. In this aspect we will start with the chain of responsibility behavioral design pattern. So let's start our discussion. The chain of responsibility pattern is a behavioral design pattern that allows an object to pass requests along a chain of potential handlers until one of them handles the request. This pattern decouples the sender of the request from the receiver, and enables multiple objects to handle the request without the sender needing to know which object will handle it. The chain of responsibility pattern belongs to the behavioral design pattern category. We use the chain of responsibility pattern when we want to give more than one object a chance to handle a request, and we want to avoid coupling the sender of the request to its receiver. It also allows us to add new handlers or change the order of the chain without modifying the sender. Now let's see an example in TypeScript. This code is related with a problem statement. Imagine a customer support system where incoming support tickets need to be processed by different support teams based on their severity levels. The severity levels can range from low to high, and each support team is responsible for handling tickets within a specific severity range. The solution for such scenario can be easily built with the help of chain of responsibility behavioral pattern. Let's look into the steps how we can build the solution for this problem. Step 1. First define the handler interface. We start by defining an abstract class support team, which serves as the handler interface. It contains a reference to the next team in the chain, next team. We define a set next team method to set the next team in the chain. The process request method is declared as abstract, which means that concrete handler classes must implement it. Next in step 2, implement concrete handlers. We create three concrete handler classes, level 1 support, level 2 support, and level 3 support, each representing a support team with different severity handling capabilities. Each concrete handler class implements the process request method. They check the severity of the incoming support ticket and decide whether to handle it or pass it to the next team in the chain. In the step 3, define the ticket class. We define a simple ticket class with a severity property to represent the severity level of a support ticket. At at last we will implement the step 4 for usage, that is client code. In the client code, we create instances of the concrete handler classes, level 1 support, level 2 support, and level 3 support. We set the next team in the chain using the set next team method, establishing the order in which the support teams should process tickets. Finally, we create a support ticket with a severity level of 2 and pass it to the first support team, level 1, to start the request processing chain. When the code is executed, it outputs the message level 2 support is handling the ticket, because the severity level of the ticket is 2, and it's within the handling scope of level 2 support. If the severity were different, the appropriate support team would handle the ticket, or it would be marked as beyond support scope. The chain of responsibility pattern promotes flexibility, as you can easily add, remove, or rearrange handlers in the chain without affecting the client code. It helps achieve decoupling between sender and receiver of requests, making it a useful pattern for various scenarios, including request processing and event handling. Thanks for watching.